Who's ready for some more pain and suffering? I know I certainly am. Since that last video on this account, which was the first one on this account, Amber has had a wardrobe change, we hit AR 13, and I've basically just been farming these ley lines every single day so that we didn't have capped resin. Now unfortunately, even though I've farmed them every day, we don't really have all that much because we're so low leveled. Shout out to Albedo, it's his birthday today apparently. Now I don't know if I'm gonna do this 100%, but what I'm thinking I want to do in this video is go through and just clear out all of these that we can. Obviously, this is the main quest line, but I kind of want to just get rid of all this other stuff that's in here. Plus, we're going to have to do this quest line, otherwise we get the whole, oh, this NPC is busy with another quest. And as we all know, I love that mechanic. So, you know, if Amber wants to talk to us that badly, then let's go talk to Amber. Want to teach me how to glide? Not gonna lie, it'd be kind of hilarious if the thing that kills a character on the... Excuse me. As I was saying, it'd be hilarious if the thing that kills a character on this account is us gliding and somehow falling and taking a ton of fall damage and dying. I mean, it'd be terrible, don't get me wrong, but it would be kind of funny. And obviously, I've been reading through the comments of the last video. Everybody has their own opinion of what we should or should not allow on the account. I did see lots of people saying you should allow four and five star weapons. The reason I don't want to do that is because then it just becomes a series based on luck. Right now, everything that we're trying to do on this account relies on skill, but if I somehow just pull like Wolf's Gravestone or something, then oof, this account just got a lot easier. So what I think we're going to do is I'm going to go ahead, continue with the same rules that I've already set out for ourselves. And if we do end up losing all of the characters that we have before beating Spiral Abyss Floor 8, we will essentially have a redemption arc where I will go ahead and allow the use of four or even five star weapons. I doubt we're going to have any of those. We'll revive all of the characters and we'll have another go at it like that. At that point, we essentially lose the main challenge of the account. But with that being said, I do really want to try to stick to the rules that we've already set out for ourselves. And thank you to all the people who told me that it was impossible with the rules that I've set because that just motivates me to do it even more. And while we're talking about things that were brought up as a result of the last video, I think we're going to allow the Traveler's Constellations because that's not through wishing, that's not anything luck based, it's literally just stuff that's given to you for free, which is also kind of the same reason that we're using all of these starting characters. I still don't think I want to allow the constellations of all the other characters though. Then it once again circles back to being reliant on luck. And let's be honest, if I could use Yeonling right now, I feel like Amber would get no screen time. go. We got our gliding license. I certainly hope we don't have to buy gliding insurance because I'm sure that would be very expensive. So Amber should no longer cause us any troubles with continuing with the main storyline. However, what I did forget to do in the last video after we did whatever we did. You, I believe you have an artifact for me. If it's defense percent, it can go on Noel. If it's one of the elemental damages, it can go on whoever it corresponds with. And I guess if it's HP percent, it'll go on Barbara. Let's see. What have we received? defense percent. It's always defense percent. Here you go, Noel. Enjoy. And we'll bring it all the way up to plus four. Look at that. Oh my gosh, 186 defense already? That's, that's, that's crazy. That's, that's really low. Oh, I guess we probably should go talk to Catherine because I think we can get our daily commissions going. And daily commissions, even if not just for primos, they give us so much XP. There we go. All right, Timmy, I'll go feed your stupid ducks. Or maybe I'll kill your ducks. <laughs> Uh, I'm not gonna kill them. Because that would mean that tomorrow's daily commission, I would have to bring him the mushrooms that Barbara's gonna need to be ascended. So I'd rather not have to go collect and waste those. You're lucky, little ducks. My laziness has saved you. Oh, I... What? Why are they scared? What happened? I mean... I do have enough primos for a wish here. Might as well do it. And luckily, we are still getting blues. 
Ooh, which one is this? Oh, there's the slingshot. But I know a lot of people were saying in the last video that slingshot is okay if you're just spamming normal attacks, but then she doesn't help as much when it comes to elemental reactions. So people were saying that I should keep the sharpshooter's oath on her because it would be her best in slot right now. Also, I don't know why I did not lock all of these weapons earlier. Last thing I want to do is accidentally feed some of these. So for now, I will be leaving the sharpshooter on Amber. Enemies are level 25 already? I guess I don't have to feel bad about leveling some more characters a little bit. I don't want to be like super overly over leveled because then that's just no fun. Though I guess that won't last for very long anyways. It'll pretty much just be in Mondstadt. Okay, getting to this daily commission is taking a little bit longer than I wanted. So how about I meet you guys back in Mondstadt? Daily commissions are all complete. Give me my free primo gems and XP. Not gonna lie, I'm kind of mad that we did get Xingqiu, because I really wanted the account to just be the characters I'm gonna use, and now he's just sitting here. That's one of the reasons why I considered not pulling whatsoever. I kind of wish the weapon banner only had weapons on it, but unfortunately, it still has the chance of getting random four-star characters. I suppose it would just make sense for us to get these. Gives us two more wishes for hopefully refinements of good weapons. First one is... was that emerald? Emerald orb. Was that the crit one? I can never remember. No, not... maybe? I don't know. We'll look in a second, but the second one might be purple. Oh good, it's not. Give me something good. Harbinger of Dawn. Okay, that is good. What is Emerald Orb? Elemental Mastery. So many of these are Elemental Mastery. Extra 3.5% crit rate. Not too bad. Oh yeah, I keep forgetting that these are a thing. It's been so long since I leveled up my adventure rank on any other account. I kind of keep forgetting that you can do that. And with 169 Primo Gems, we can do another wish. Please don't be purple. I, I'm pretty sure that that was pity. Well, Sure, yeah, sacrificial. My main account is plagued with this weapon right now. I'm doing a little bit of pulling on this banner to try to get some rusts, and I've gotten three sacrificial swords in a row. I'm really not the biggest fan of that. My main account doesn't want the sacrificial sword right now. Hey, Kaya, I hear you have a quest for me. This is another one of those quests that will get- Oh, jeez, he just pushed me. It's another one of those quests that's gonna get in the way if I don't do it right now. And I know you don't have to complete the whole thing, but I mean, I want the XP, so we might as well. And my plan initially was to try and do every quest. Thank you for that, Kaya. I wanted to do every quest that we currently have and then continue with the main Mondstadt one. But as I'm doing these, we keep getting more of them. So I think after Kaya's, we're gonna go continue with the main story quest and then we can head back to these if we need more XP or if we finish the entire main one. Why must they give me a trial for Kaya when Kaya is already on my team? All it does is swap which spot each person is on my team, so it just confuses me even more. Well, thank you very much, Kaya. We can now upgrade Lumi means weapon yet again. I just realized that we're AR-15. I don't know when that happened, but that means that we can ascend our characters. So with a bit of leveling out of the way, we only have three quests right now, which is very different from my main account where I can just scroll through this page for hours on end. Let's head back up to Jean and continue the main quest line. If I remember correctly, we do get locked out because of AR one more time before we can finish everything. And if that is the case, then we'll take care of those other quests. You know, while we're here, we might as well raid Lisa's library. Oh, wait, weren't you just in the other room? I literally just left you in Jean's office. How are you in here already? But yeah, let's just quickly raid her entire library. It's not like she needs the books. What's up, demon child? Gosh, I feel so much smarter already. Intelligence 100. What? What is this? She's still in here. I just came back to see if she would actually be in here, and she is. There's two Lisas running around this place, and actually... Now there's three. Oh, I've made a great mistake. I'm climbing with Lisa. I didn't mean to do it. No. <gasps> Silence. Oh, look at that guy moonwalking in the back. Oh, he's gone. He was faced out of existence for those dance moves. I was just doing a bit of thinking. I don't know exactly how I would get this to work because I don't want to have to do absolutely everything in the game again on this account. But I think another idea for this account could be trying to beat most of the bosses in the game. I don't know that we'd include Inazuma stuff. Maybe, maybe we're going to have to go there anyways. I don't know. But perhaps just like the generic overworld bosses, we could try to beat them all. Maybe. Maybe? Then there's at least a bit of a secondary goal just outside of the spiral abyss. Looks like it's time for a round of everybody's favorite Grand Theft Liar. I was gonna try to make a joke that Venti looks like the character named Otto from ReZero, and so then it would be Grand Theft Otto, which sounds a lot better, but it gets a lot more confusing. Alright, we've seen this all before. I don't think you need to see me do it again. Let's get the chests and get out of here. 
Um, you're supposed to be up there. Sir? Sir? Is that Luke Skywalker? Oh, hey, AR-16, nice. You know, they say blonde is the only description that they got from the thief, so we should be safe in Mondstadt. But I don't think a single NPC here has the same hair color as Lumine. Like, this is the closest that you're gonna get. I mean, it's kind of blonde, but it's eh. I don't think we would be very safe. But Lisa, why are you everywhere? <laughs> I like this domain. Recommended elements, you know, you got these. Possible rewards, nothing. Really gets me excited to complete this domain. Oh, hey, D-Luke. Goodbye, D-Luke. It's kind of bad that I not only remember all the hidden chest locations in this domain, but also exactly what kind of enemies spawn when you try to open them. Th that just goes to show I've played through the beginning of this game too many times. <laughs> I love how stupid enemies are. You throw out this bunny and they just can't help but attack it. Even though this is literally a human, it's not just a hillitrail or something. But they still don't know any better. I'll be taking that. <laughs> You think I could get that master sniper achievement from back here? I would have to perfectly hit this thing's weak point from all the way back here. Oh, I hit it. There we go. Easy. Definitely wasn't there for like 10 minutes straight just shooting arrows. No, that was my first arrow. Hey, Ruingar. Oh my gosh, my mouse is double clicking so much. No, 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 no shooting missiles at me. That'd be very rude. I did swap out Amber's circlet for a crit damage one. We had her on crit rate before. I mean, it's really not giving us much value. But because this bow always crits if I hit a weak point, I figure it's just a much better option to have the crit damage there. Oh, not the whole backstory of the turtles. I knew someone who had a pet turtle once. I really don't know where I was going with that. I, I just knew someone who had a pet turtle once. <laughs> End of that story. My mouse does not want to cooperate right now. That's the issue with characters that rely on charged attacks, even on things like spells only with Klee. My mouse doesn't like doing charged attacks. It much prefers just spamming left click whenever I try to do one. Oh no, we have to be AR 18 to continue? Oh darn, that's gonna take us like a whole five minutes to get to. Let's see, Lisa's quest, 425 XP, Jianling 175. Now I'm sure it gives more after different parts, but we'll just go with whatever gives us more XP li librarian, Lisa? Is that really a title that you use like that? I don't know that I'd use that like that. Like, I wouldn't put that in front of someone's name. I'm not gonna walk into the local library like, <laughs> Librarian David, might you have any recommendations of non-fiction texts I could indulge myself in? Alright, then from now on, I want everyone in this game to refer to me as Honorary Night Java only. <laughs> Oh, jeez, my mouse is really- I, like, I'm trying to do all charged attacks here. My mouse is going crazy with the double clicks. Gosh, I am such a speedrunner. It's crazy. Why is there money falling from the ceiling? <laughs> Not that I mind, of course. Okay, Lisa, listen, I just need you to give me enough XP so I can level up and then I can continue with the main story quest. Will it be enough? Uh, I don't think so. Maybe? I can't tell yet. It? I, okay, that doesn't help me. It? It's nowhere near close to being enough. Okay, so maybe I was just a little off when I said five minutes to level up. I'd prefer to not have to do Xiangling's quest, because that one does take a little bit to get through, but we might end up having to do it. And we're back. I did take a quick little intermission to go do dailies on the other accounts because the day was about to reset. But we are now the correct AR to continue with the main story and I think challenge Devalin. Let's go put down that dragon. Also, it appears if I want to do any charge attacks with Amber, I have to enter aiming mode with the R where it just forces you to stay in aiming mode because my mouse spams click now. That's pretty fun. I mean, my mouse is pretty much always double clicked and this is the replacement mouse because the last one had an issue 
issue of its own. Love to see products functioning as they're intended. Good job, Logitech. But it's fine, it goes along with the theme of pain and suffering. I'm not under level to fight the Valen, am I? I wouldn't think so, but I don't remember what level it is. It's probably around 20. Although these little animo slimes are level 20, and that'd be kind of weird if a giant dragon was the same level as a couple of slimes. Hey, Paimon, you might have heard this before, but, uh, shut up. Thank you. I do love how out of all of our characters, Amber has the highest HP. You'd think it'd be Noel, but no. And yes, my resin is maxed. I gotta go take care of that, don't I? All right, hold up to Valen. I'll be back in a moment. Let me just go spend a little resin. And there we go. At least we're not capped anymore. And then the other thing I would like to do is at least buy out these. Then I can actually upgrade some of the weapons that we have. I think we are ready. Did some leveling, leveled up some weapons, finished up another chapter of the book, and now Noelle finally has our highest HP. She's the first character to break 5,000, and somehow she also has our highest attack stat. I don't know if that's really a good thing, that's kind of sad. Why is every chest here giving me another traveler's handy sword? Even at R4, it's not that handy. Uh, excuse me, that's honorary knight Javalok to you? I'm not too worried about this, in all honesty, and maybe that's a bad thing. Perhaps I'm overly confident. So Devalin is level 26. All of my characters are, I think, 26 to 28. Actually, I think Amber just hit 29. So we're like right on par. I am a little worried, but we'll be fine. Oh, right, I forgot we have to do this. Can I be honest? I'm sure I've said it in a different video at some point, but I hate this part. It, it's cool. It's a cool concept. I'm fine with that. But it lasts for so long. Like for a good two minutes, you're just flying here dodging things with no idea of what you're meant to do. At least the first time. Right now, I know I just have to wait until Venti starts talking again. It reminds me so much of if any of you have ever played Pokemon Sun and Moon, when you have to go into the ultra wormhole thing on one of the legendaries. It's like the same concept, at least in my mind it is. And of course we have to do it again. Let's see just how hard or easy this is. I mean, yeah, I could sit here and spam with Amber. I don't think it's really worth it because we do about no damage with the bow anyways. Ooh, I probably should have farmed for all my bursts before I did this. Yeah, <laughs> we don't really do much damage here. Ah, we did over 50%. That's good enough. It's actually not that bad. All right, time for him to break the platforms. I did see in the patch notes for, I think, 3.0. That was the last version, right? They nerfed how much damage all of this does the first time you fight the Valen. And also, this platform would usually crack when the other one did. It would be like three of them in a row. But they nerfed that as well. So they just kind of made it even easier for new players. And me, I guess. The only idiot who's still making more and more new accounts in this game. So we should be able to just finish it off right here. Yes, go Noel. You can do it. You can do it. Wow, that was easy. I mean, like I said, they did already nerf this thing even more, and it wasn't that difficult to begin with. And that's only for the first time you fight it. I don't think they changed anything regarding the weekly boss. But yeah, that's basically Monstat done. Hey, Barbara, how's it going? Welcome to the team. Oh, hey, uh, by the way, you probably didn't know that I knew this, but... I can tell that you haven't hit that subscribe button yet. It's one little click. I've, you might as well, right? You're here. You're watching the video. Do it. Click the button. With that though, I just have to finish up the rest of the Monstat stuff, which is just basic dialogue. I won't make you go through that again. In the next video, we're going to tackle Liyue, which is when this challenge will begin to get harder. Monstat is just kind of like baby tutorial mode. Liyue is where we can actually start getting into some more dangerous situations, especially if we need to start farming bosses to upgrade characters. So if you enjoyed, feel free to press that like button. And as always, I will see you guys next time.